when we look at this, there's a lot of people drawing channels like this, and we're seeing that price is going towards the downside. Yes, this looks great for an opportunity to buy, but I'm actually saying to myself, that price is actually going to continue a little bit lower because I see a lot of evidence of price failing to go higher. And I'm going to show you guys why in this video, illusions in the market is going to take you away from the truth about trading or the truth about the real path. So let's go right to the right path. And I'm going to show you what you should be doing when it comes to trading. So please make sure if you have your own charts open or after this video, take your notes and place it on your charts. Have fun with this, guys. I want you guys all to have that opportunity to invest and trade your only token the right way you should. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So first, First, we're going to delete everything and I want to show you the right path that I'm looking at when it comes to the only token. So first, we're going to get our channel tool and you're going to put it just like this. Why am I doing that? We have more surface bases of touches, guys. You can see for yourself that this way we have many touches on the bottom and many touches on the top. We need three touches to confirm a structure of resistance and support. This is the reasons why I drew it this way. So let's break it down and let's continue with this drawing. And even when I put a volume profile from the right hand side towards the left, you can see for yourself here, guys. Now, where's my key volume area? Roughly around this level, 0.000609. And we're failing to break above, even with high volume or high delta, we're failing to break that. So TA alone would not break this level. So if you are looking what's being guarded in the structure, it's this range, it's this trend line, it's this volume area. The point of control is being protected. And why is this being protected? Because they want more. They believe that the price of the value of this project should be here at this very moment. And I do not disagree at this very moment, guys. So price is going to hover a little bit lower and I am going to justify that by looking at price a little bit more. So let's get right into this right here guys. So why am I saying this is very important because remember delta and divergence is such a real thing and when we're looking at the spectrum of absorption I'm going to show you in this video it's going to be powerful. When you look at absorption right here you can see this is a double top a premium double top but now over here when we're looking at this structure alone and I'm bringing it towards the top exact moment of that top what do you notice? A lot of buyers influence in the price, believing that the price is going to go higher, but the story on the top does not follow. That's why there's two different stories. But the top story tells me, hey, as much as you're buying and as much as you're investing into this project, I don't believe the project's price should be higher. So this is what the story of the price is telling me. And that is the definition of absorption. Price is going higher and higher and higher, guys. But we're failing every single time. That is protecting this level, these stops of prices going a little bit lower. Yes, this could be a huge whale that wants price to go a little bit lower before we buys them. Yes, this could be a group of people that believe this is a key level. This could be like-minded people all over the world that have Omi token and say to themselves, I don't think this project is ready as much as people think it is. If I told you this is a definition of absorption and buyers are failing to go higher, guys, on a smaller scale, do we not have the same thing? And I'm going to show you we do. So right here is the top and I'm going to draw it in and you can see the price is not even close towards this top. Now, if I look at the delta, what do you notice, guys? That price already broke above. A question in the market that you say to yourself, what is really going on with price? Why is price not moving? The same typical way that we looked at the A one. So let's call this B right here. B is smaller, but you could see in this case scenario, B is failing to break above a real price, 0 0.00077. But in reality, the delta already broke above. Now, in order to get this training to another level, we're going to digest it with volume. Volume is like the appetizer or the dessert after the main course. When you're looking at volume, you can see we have a huge bulge of volume and price was induced towards upside. But hey, hold up for a minute. We're being protected. On the bottom, we want to see the same rally. You can see this is the highest wick in this whole area. If we had the highest wick in the whole area and you look in left of structure, the highest wick and the delta is giving us insurance that there's so much buyers. This is not a great sign for OMI. So what I'm looking for, as much as people want to buy, I can only use statistics from trading to give me a dynamic range that price is going to go to. So for this little moment, if price is over here around 0.00049-ish, 
I do believe it's going to at least go towards the bottom and make a double bottom or some kind of formation to give me evidence that price wants to continue towards the upside. So this case scenario, guys, if price does go up, I'm not really too worried. It's in a sideways range. We're not looking for any aggressive move toward the upside. If we do have a release of a fundamental news, most of the time, this is what happens, guys. If the news can break the price towards the upside and we see a hold of the body, great. This is a sign we're going to see a retest and we're going to buy the market. But majority of the time, whenever we see a news, the candle is formed and it pushes up and then it gets rejected towards the downside. And we have this huge wick and this wick is basically telling us, hey, we have a huge rejection, guys. Why are we investing in OMI right now when we can wait for lower price, work as a unit or a team? The solid foundation that we need. We're in price discovery zone. There's going to be a lot of rallies. But for this very incident, guys, I'm not looking to buy OMI. I think it's going to go a little bit lower. Let's look for a double bottom before we purchase a little bit more OMI. And trust me, your wallets will thank me later. Other than that, guys, remember this is not financial advice. This is my advice. And I wanted to just tell you a story from the top to the bottom, and we want it to branch the same way, that we're not in the same sequence. The buyers, the aggressive people in the market are not really fond of the price of OMI at this very moment, and that's why we have such a huge divergence, a difference in price. Once we go together, and then we'll see the harmony in the market, and we'll see the price move by spreading the word and giving them the opportunity to bag a more OMI token at the right place, not the wrong place. I will make a Telegram group, so I need 50 people that want want to be a part of this group and I think I'm only going to be taking the first 50 and I'm going to be giving you guys signals of OMI and other coins that you want to see me do analysis on. This is my token of my appreciation for you guys so please remember the first 50 people that email me and that want to be a part of this channel please make sure to contact me my listing will be in the description below so if you guys like this video please make sure to like share and subscribe. Other than that thank you so much guys for being a part of this journey and I can't wait to see the only token do as we say thank you so much take it easy and john now peace